hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to obtain a virtual number for whatsapp you can keep your existing number and also you can have keep your real phone but you want to have an additional number you can use for whatsapp you can sign up on google voice all you need to do is to have a gmail account so this is valid for android and iphone as well so it is available for every platform so stay tuned okay guys now let's go to google play store from here we're gonna download whatsapp if you have whatsapp installed on your device you're gonna need to uninstall it you need to delete it first and re-download it to start fresh so let's search for whatsapp and as you can see it here it says it's available so i'm just gonna go ahead and download the application and after that i'm gonna open it up and follow the instructions you can either download regular whatsapp or whatsapp business there's two versions but this is regular whatsapp so it's already done i already installed my device i'm gonna click on open and as you can see it here it's starting fresh so you need to delete your old whatsapp in order to be able to start fresh so i'm gonna agree with the terms and conditions and over here that's where you're gonna ask me my phone number but i'm not gonna give my real phone number like the phone number that's on my iPhone, on my uh, android phone i'm not gonna give that phone number but i'm gonna use a virtual phone number and for that i'm gonna go to google voice and sign up for a new virtual number and that's what i'm gonna use so let's open up the browser i'm gonna open google and from here i'm gonna type in google voice so let's type in google voice and then um you can also go to google play store and download it from there you can um, type in Google Voice from Google Play Store or you can just get it um, from a search and it's going to take me to Google Play Store. So this is the Google Voice. I'm going to click on it and then from here it's going to open up and it's going to ask me to sign in. But I'm going to use a different email account, a different Gmail account so I can get a different number because I'm using this method on my iPhone and now i want to install it on my android and i have different phone number so over here i'm just gonna go and say for business or personal use so i choose personal use and it's gonna ask you for android or ios device or web so i choose android and right here this is the google play store so i'm gonna click on it it's already pre-installed so all i have to do is just enable it and then after that i'm gonna open it up and from here i'm gonna follow the sign up page and as you can see it here it says um google voice so you must agree all terms and conditions and then after that it's gonna take you to the sign up process so it says select google voice and i hit on next And then here i'm going to select a number so it's going to give me different uh, location depending on where i am it's going to give me a local number so i'm going to select a uh, santa Morichis. and as you can see it here it has a list of phone numbers that are available for google voice and um it is very nice so i'm going to select the first number which is really easy to remember and this one is um 631-975-2009 so I'm going to select that one. It's very easy to remember. So I, I got that number now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And from here, I click on continue. I'm going to use Google Voice. And then you probably have to just follow the instructions. And over here, it's going to ask me my real number. So they can send me a text message to verify. So I'm going to allow con um, Google Voice to access my contact. And I'm going to put in my real number I already put in my real number so that's the number that I have on my Android device and then they're gonna send me a text to verify the real number because that real number is gonna be linked with a new Google voice number and now they're gonna send me a six digit code to my real number and that six digit code I'm gonna take it and plug in plug it in into this page in order to verify my real number 
you show them that I have a real number. Now I want a virtual number in addition to my regular number. Okay, so this is the code they sent me. You type it in and then you go to next. And over here you can see it says my um, virtual number is 975-2009 is all yours. So it's all mine now. So the number is now available to me. So I go ahead and next and next. And now all my contact came into my virtual number. So it doesn't mean that they're going to send notification to everyone in my contact to tell them that I have changed phone number. No, it's just like you have the contact in case you want to contact somebody from the virtual number. So in other words, on this phone, I have two numbers. I got my real number and my virtual number, which is the Google Voice number. And let's continue, finish up the process. You're going to see that this is very simple. So I'm going to go back to WhatsApp. And from here, I'm going to continue the process. And here, I'm going to put in the virtual number that I got from Google Voice. So that's the number I'm going to be using. So I'm going to type in that number here instead of my real number. And now the new WhatsApp is going to have a brand new virtual number. If someone sent me a message, it's going to come in to this device, even though that my real phone number is on this device. So I'm going to type in the virtual number. And this is going to, um, they're going to send me a text message to verify. But since the virtual number is linked to my real number the text message gonna come into my real number and from here i can verify the process and let's see what's next here you hit ok and now it's gonna send me a 60 digit code to the virtual number and this is the code so i'm gonna take it copy it and plug it in into that page So guys, this is how you do it if you want to have another phone number beside your real number. So I did that on my iPhone because I have a different number on my iPhone. So I got a virtual number. With a, so, you know, I got rid of my old numbers because I was getting tired. Everybody was just like texting me. And this is the confirming that um, your device, your WhatsApp is linked to a virtual number. And then you hit on continue. It asks you to back up, but I'm going to say no. I'm just going to skip this process. All right. So if you choose continue to back up your file, you may do so, but they may send notification to your old friend, tell them that you have changed phone number. And over here, let's see, it says that I'm going to chat. So I'm going to allow WhatsApp to access my account, uh, to access my contacts. You must do that in order to be able to uh, send chats and also um, voice chat as well. Okay, and let's see what else we're going to do here. It's a long process. Not too long, but you have to be patient. And I'm going to allow WhatsApp to access my contact. And from here, I will be able to send chat messages to my new friends. To tell them that I have changed um, phone number on WhatsApp so they can send me a chat message on WhatsApp on this number the virtual number even though I have my real number in this device all right and let's continue and right now I'm gonna send a message to myself to my um, the other device my iPhone I have a real number and a virtual number so I'm gonna send a message to me and then you're going to see um, the message is going to show the virtual number that I have on this phone, even though I still have my real number. So let's go ahead and leave a voice message. At first, I'm going to type in hello to see if the message will arrive on my iPhone. And then now from here, um, we're going to see um, what we got. So let's see. And uh, let me get my iPhone. And you're going to see that the message came in and it's going to show my virtual number. And as you can see it here, the virtual number is on tab. So this is the new number that I created. And then it says hello, as you can see it here. Very nice and unbelievable. And now we're going to leave a voice message. 
Hey Abdul, how are you? This is my new number, my new WhatsApp number. So since you are a close friend, I'm going to let you have this number, but don't give it to nobody. But I didn't change my phone number though. My phone number is still the same, my regular phone number on my regular cell phone. So it's still the same. I didn't change it. So if you want to WhatsApp me, you can WhatsApp me on this new number. But if you want to make a regular phone call, you have to call me on my regular phone number. And I hit on send. Okay, so I got the new message here that I sent to myself, and let's go ahead and play it. Play. Hey Abdul, how are you? This is my new number, my new WhatsApp number. So since you are a close friend, I'm going to let you have this number, but don't give it to nobody. But I didn't change my phone number though. My phone number is still the same, my regular phone number on my regular cell phone. So it's still the same. I didn't change it. So if you want to WhatsApp me, you can WhatsApp me on this new number. But if you want to make a regular phone call, you have to call down my regular phone number. And I hit on send. All right, so this is it. This is how you proceed. So if you need a virtual number, you can get it from Google Voice, but you must have a Gmail account in order to sign up. So if you want to change your phone number on WhatsApp and keep it your real number, this is how you do it. So anyone close friends can send you, anyone you give that number can send you a message. And also um, anyone who wants to call you, they can call you on your uh, real phone number. So guys, this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video on YouTube. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.